should I do this? Because God already has it figured out. It's okay to want to like your job. I am scared. I'm actually very sad and difficult lately. I have tea. But let's get ready while I tell y'all that I'm starting a business. <music> It's wild. I literally announced it on Instagram today. So I guess it's real. I don't know, just cause more people I actually know in real life are over there. Like YouTube, I like my YouTube community. Like we be chilling, we be vibing over here. Over there is like people I know, grade school bullies and just like people I'll see in passing and have to make small talk with. Like I'm just, <laughs> woo. But we're here, we're announcing it, we're moving forward. We're going through the social anxiety. But it's called We Dabble Brand Marketing. We do all things, you know, social media, content creation, video editing, web design, graphic design, designing visual assets like banners and all that stuff. Just all stuff that I've done and have experience in doing leisurely, um, in volunteer, in internships and like professionally. So I'm just kind of putting my skills into one and offering it as a service. I'll have all of my services and socials and website and all that link below if you want to read more about it because I'm not going to go too in detail about that. Um, this is going to be a little bit more personal but I would love for y'all to just at least check it out. I couldn't think of a logo so I literally pulled from things that were around me meaning um, I pulled from my laptop and my dogs I almost put this literally on my lap but yeah I am scared I am scared to let people know because it just makes it so much more real and it, like it feels good at the same time like I have been on a journey of trying to figure out what my next move in my career is and I came across this TikTok that basically said like you're wasting your time trying to figure it out because God already has it figured out. So your job isn't just to like figure it out. So that's just kind of where my mental has been at now. So yeah, let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. A year ago, I started doing social media management through an apprenticeship. Um, I had an itch I wasn't scratching. My passion has always been social media. Not so much like, yes, I wanna be an influencer, but just like, I love creating content. Like, I think it's, so fun i started youtube as like a hobby not expecting it to go or do anything but also just a way to like really hone in on my memories so it's just something i genuinely enjoy doing i also have enjoyed video editing for a very long time i love like the quicker shorter short form content that's blown up since covid also so that was the itch i it was it was the itch i wasn't scratching basically that's where i was like really looking for that needs to be somewhere else. Kind of like missing in my day to day. And so I did an apprenticeship. It's like an unpaid internship basically for three months for this boss babe who owns her own film and acting studio. And I essentially ran her social media doing promo, creating videos, video editing, making flyers, kind of rebranding it also. Working in her personal brand on her personal page because she is um an actress as well so just um really helping her with strategy in terms of getting students in her class three months came and went and we kept vibing and she says she wanted to continue working with me so we've been doing that and it's been really great and then i was like wait should i do this should i actually take this seriously i saw how much value i could bring to a business owner i was using the skills i had learned professionally and they were working. I was learning at the same time, which was a lot of fun. And I just got to be super creative without any ceilings or limitations. I just like really was like, I think that I'm gonna do this and I think I'm gonna do it under like one uniform name or business. I created the name We Dabble cause I've been a digital marketing like generalist essentially for almost eight years now. I just basically had the opportunity to wear a lot of hats. I got my master's in branding and strategy because those were skills that I really wanted to get into. Um, I also highlighted the D and the B and the B because those are my initials in We Dabble. So that kind of also played a part into the terminology because I wanted something that just like was me. And I don't want to sound like braggy when I'm talking about all the things I'm doing. It's just, 
I have felt so stuck and lost. It's been actually very sad and difficult lately. I felt like I was falling behind. I, I decided to dedicate this next six-ish, five, six months to really working on building my confidence back because it has been so low that like I literally stopped believing in my ability and it took me a while to realize that, oh wait, I actually do know what I'm talking about a little bit. I also went through this phase where it was like, I get it's just work, like it's called work for a reason. You're supposed to just like go through it. Until I realized how much time I was spending working and how that has like significant and direct correlation to your mental health. It's okay to want to like your job. I'm not saying every day is going to be butterflies and rainbows because I don't believe that's a thing because something is going to go wrong in a business always. But I do think that it's important to like enjoy the work you're doing and feel fulfilled and valued. So yeah, since then I have acquired two other clients as well. I'm going to go ahead and finish my hair um, because I am running late now and then I'll come back when I start my makeup. In terms of like why now, well, I have a lot of changes, big changes coming up over the next few months and I figured it was just time. I'm turning 30 early next year, which I'm so excited about. Moving next year also to a brand new city. I just want to take advantage of this change and like this mindset of what I want to do for myself and for me. If I fail, I fail, but I fail choosing me, which is how I'm going to go out. This is how I want to go out. Let me just real quick change and take these curls out. If you're interested in any of the services that I mentioned about We Dabble, or just like supporting me, I would so appreciate it if you clicked on one of the links below, just check it out, you know, share it on your story, send it to a friend who may need it if you don't need it, um, like one of the videos on Instagram or TikTok if you see it, follow along for the journey because I'm going to be documenting a lot of behind the scenes here um, in addition to on my Instagram and TikTok and everything else. And then obviously the hair videos, the CCCA, the hair loss, all of that. The product reviews are still gonna be here too. Pray for me, pray for We Dabble. I'm really excited about it and I will see you guys um, next week. Kicking off October strong. All right, bye.